Hey gamers, Ranger Tony here, back with more of our Neverwinter Nights 2 original campaign Half Walk Paladin playthrough. As I have said before, that is a mouthful. When last we left off the barrack, the uh, police, the watch house here in the docks had just been burnt, burnt down by Moira's gang, and we have been instructed to head over to um the merchant district i believe it's called um to see the captain i'll find mccormick and not mccormick find marshall cormick and the captain who we have not yet met we're going to briefly come down here and just rescue this no i think she's a gnome or a halfling i can't remember which she's a halfling No, she's a gnome. What I'm trying to say, you miserable little gnome, is that we're going to break every item in your inventory unless you pay us money. Oh, you're looking for protection money. Why didn't you just say so instead of yammering on about broken dishes? Let me run her through, boss. This isn't worth it. Moira will make us deal with her regularly if we take her money. Is there a problem here? Ah, the city watch. No problem, officer. These gentlemen were just clarifying a few things for me. Nothing to worry yourself over. I love, like, I have said before, and we've had people in the chat talking about the interactions between various NPCs in the game. Um, I, I and I've said it before. I love the the writing in this is just brilliant. The fact that this gnome is so excited about the fact that somebody is finally asking her to pay protection money. It makes her feel like she is a proper merchant now because of the, it's just... So, like, she's saying, no, there's nothing to worry yourself over. I'm fine. Right, just a little disagreement. Go find yourself somewhere else to bother, Hound. Looks like you're extorting money from this merchant. It's quite acceptable, truly. I have to admit that I've been looking forward to this day. What do you mean? It means I've made it. After all, they wouldn't be trying to take money from someone who wasn't successful. I consider it a rite of passage. See? Even the gnome isn't complaining. Why don't you just leave us to our business? What you're doing is illegal. I'm placing you under arrest. The law is what it is, and no one can ever accuse me of being anything but law abiding. Perhaps I'll be able to do business with one of your rivals instead, gentlemen. Should have walked away when you had the chance. And... Yeah. We get to... I don't know why I was just sitting there doing nothing just then. Alright. You got pieces, no other bodies. Let's talk to her again. Okay, now we can see what she's got for sale. She actually has. Ah. Uh, Yes, she actually has some decent stuff, I believe. Yeah, she's got lots of magical gear here, if you're willing to pay for it. Um, gauntlets, lesser gauntlets of ogre power. That's only plus one. That's not useful to me at this point. Um, braces of armor plus two. That might conflict with some of my other stuff but if it does i can always give it to quara for protection so let's buy that let's see does this improve my armor by two it does beautiful i'll use it in that case i might just buy that and we'll give What's that going on oh You've already got braces of armor plus two. All right, uh, Kelgar. Yeah. You can have braces of armor plus one. There you go. Twenty set. He's got a good armor class. Um, the nymph cloaks would be good for me because they give a bonus to charisma, and charisma is my primary stat as a paladin. However, I don't feel like I need more charisma it does help with my ability to turn undead 
but I think that's about it. I think um, most the the main thing I want to do is raise strength, so that I'm doing more damage in combat. Um, she also has lots of ammunition, which we're not going to use much of. I'm actually considering we don't have um. Nishka in the party at the moment, but I'm considering switching Nishka to melee rather than ranged. Um, if you're not aware, when I am producing videos or when I am streaming on Twitch, when I'm not streaming and I want to relax, I do play games as well. And at the moment, I'm actually mucking around with a rogue playthrough of Neverwinter Nights 1. This has got me in a Neverwinter Nights mood. Um, and I have my halfling rogue and I have Tommy Undergallows, the other halfling rogue NPC that you can get. And between the two of them, we are just sneak attack and critting everything. Like that battle just then with those bandits seemed like it was taking a ridiculously long amount of time compared to what it feels like it takes me in Neverwinter Nights 1 with my pair of rogues it almost makes me want to stop this playthrough and start again as a rogue but i'm not going to do that of course um i might be able to be convinced in the future to do another playthrough if i can finally finish this as a rogue um, i have always liked rogues as characters but the sneak attack ability that was brought in in uh it started in version three of course because that's what neverwinter nights one is based on D D third edition rules neverwinter nights 2 is based on dnd 3.5 rules and that sneak attack is way better than the backstab that it used to be in the old days and i feel that it's a very uh very nice uh thing to have so anyway you do a lot of damage with it put it that way um, and it's very easy to get a sneak attack amulet of vitality amulet of health natural armor um, I've already got an amulet of vitality plus two, so I don't need another one. Ring of spell battle, 25 grand. We can't afford that. Bonus spell. Oh, no, that's really not that useful. Um, it's these. Bard, sorcerer, and wizard get one extra spell. One extra first level spell slot. It's only one. It doesn't feel that great. It's like the ring... There was a ring that you could get if you knew where it was, and I showed you where it was, in Baldur's Gate 1, uh, just outside the Friendly Arm Inn. There was a ring of wizardry that gave you three extra first level spells. Um, that was a really good one. This one, not so much. It only gives you one. Uh, I would buy it, but no, not at this point. Once you can, I can't afford it. This lens of detection is quite good. Uh, if you're not, if you're playing something like I am, and I don't have my rogue in my party, which I don't at the moment, plus three, uh, find traps three times a day. Brilliant, well worth the money. Mostly, you have to know that the trap is going to be there. Um, but yeah, very interesting. Let's sell this stuff that we don't want. Don't want that, that, that's just a normal copper ring. We worked out the headband of intellect is no good for Quara. It will be good for Sand once we finally get him in the party, but I don't want to keep it this long. Um, it's not vital that he has it, put it that way. Uh, we don't need the bloodstone, we don't need that, that, or that. Let's just reorder all of that. Did anyone else have anything else to sell? You're not using any of that gear, but What's we're not going to sell it. You've got all that stuff to use. You've got that. Yeah, okay, we're good. Um, so we're not going to buy anything. Let's just rest here because we probably at some point want all of our health back. Um, so this is a good, as good a place as any to do that. Um, that is pretty much every encounter in the docks area now done. Uh, there might be some more later. We do have to come back to the docks and do some things, but 
it's all the major encounters in the area done so let's we're going to the merchant quarter and uh, let's remember to save properly this time i like to try and make a save for a new area when i first go to it um so if we do a save there we go resume okay, i don't think we get attacked yet by bandits here now let's get this out of the way Let's come over here to Deacon. Now, Deacon, if you don't know, I don't think it's the the official campaign of Neverwinter Nights 1. I think it's the first of the uh, other campaigns. And so let's just actually... Yeah, that's what I want. Um, I'm just really quickly looking for Deacon. Yeah. Shadows of Undrantide, Hordes of the Underdark. He was in Shadows of Undrantide, I think, is the is the campaign. I have completed that campaign. He is a kobold bard. Um, although he's listed as a rogue in Shadows of Undrantide. Anyway, um, yeah, he's just, he's an interesting NPC character that you can have with you, and I did have him when I played it. Uh, so he is, you know, a kobold, they're wondering why he is there. Um, again, there's just some really good, um, conversational stuff here are you a merchant confusing to deacon but deacon figure it all right to sit here and people give him gold to take away heavy stuff can i see what you have for sale so he has a lot of really good stuff now if you decide to play one of the prestige classes now the prestige classes um you generally have to have certain number of levels in something else and then you can take a prestige class. There is a... Uh, actually, I'm not sure there is a... Um, a, pa a specific paladin prestige, prestige class, but as a paladin, you could try... Uh, you could try to um, go maybe to... Um, what are they? The the um, uh, I'm thinking of Weapon Master, but the requirements for Weapon Master are a little bit hard for you to get as. A paladin. So there's actually nothing specific that you would take as a paladin, I don't think. Not that that you would take that would actually benefit you a huge amount. You could probably go Eldritch Knight. You'd have to take one level of Mage first. You know, Wizard or Sorcerer. Um, there is a... Oh, there's Divine Champion that you might be able to take. Um, they all have different features but what i'm getting at is is that there is most of the armor that you would want so the armor of the divine champion for example you have to be a divine champion here and it's a uh, heavy plate armor plate mail armor so breastplate epaulets elbow guards gauntlets tass and greaves uh chain mail with all of that um it's actually not as good as plate because my plate armor is plus eight with a one dex bonus um but it 
gives you the ability it's a plus three armor so it actually it is enchanted to be better than what my plate armor is uh, it weighs the same though um, but it gives you more cure light wounds and protection from alignment per day that you can use and so you know arcane archer arcane trickster divine champion assassin blackguard uh, Dragon Disciple, Duelist, Dwarven Defender, Eldritch Knight. Actually, a Dwarven Paladin might get a little bit of advantage by going to Dwarven Defender at some point. Uh, Frenzied Berserker, Harper Agent. These are all uh, Pale Master, uh, Shadow Thief, Shadow Dancer, War Priest, Weapon Master. These are all some of these uh, prestige classes that you can go to, but I don't know that there's much that would be really ideal for a paladin, and I don't want to. I do these builds on pure class builds, not on a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. No, um, I prefer to go pure builds. So uh, we don't want any of that. He has some more ammunition and an okay bow if you want a short bow plus three and uh mighty plus three which means you can get up to plus three of your strength bonus added to it and if you're a bard it's really useful because it has the perform uh bonus as well as i said at the start i would never play a bard because i don't feel like um bards make good primary characters but if you take the gnome npc whose name escapes me because it's really weird um you could buy that bow for him if you had the money lying around uh more we don't want any of this but more um decent magical items um and this is all mostly just stuff to make well mostly traps oh this the lesser bag that's a magic bag. How much does that? 40% weight. No, I don't think so. Uh, we can we can do without that for the time being. So we've met we've met Deacon. We didn't you don't have to, there's no requirement to meet Deacon, but I just think he's an interesting character. Um, I encourage you if you're playing the game yourself, talk to Deacon and, and listen to all of his stuff. I wish it voiced him. Uh, like it did in the original in the original campaign, in the in the uh, original location of him in Neverwinter Nights one, uh, but it doesn't. So this is our newest recruit. Cormac told me of your unusual heritage, and he also told me you showed admirable restraint in cleaning up the docks. You are to be commended. I had hoped your restraint in this matter would serve to avoid further violence, but Moya's gang has forced our hand. Last night, they attacked the watch directly. They put yeah, we one saw of our posts to the torch like cowards, and they killed Lieutenant Rowe. The lieutenant was a good man. His post at the docks was a difficult one, but he always made the best of his position. He will be missed. Those thrice-cursed murderers now have free reign, but not for long. Captain, let me lead the watch down there. We'll answer fire with steel. Those responsible for Rowe's murder will answer for it, Marshal. But force will not root out these killers. We will need time and patience. And we will need to rebuild our presence in the docks. If we are to bring these murderers to justice, we will need a new face in the district. A loyal watchman who can wield restraint as well as a sword. That is why I summoned you here. In short, you are to take Lieutenant Rowe's place. I think you are the best one for the job. You have discipline and faith. If I could ask you to serve us and your god at the same time, I'd be honored. I'm going to choose option one, but I just had a thought. It seemed the one thing here that's seeming a little bit strange is the fact that that other guy is called Marshall Cormick. Marshall is not really a a title I would expect to hear in the watch. I'm wondering if Marshall is not his first name and Cormick is just his last name. But back in the village, he was just referred to as Cormac. Because nobody knew that he was a marshal there. So I guess marshal is a title, but it doesn't seem to fit. In, the, like, she's a captain. 
if you know military, uh, I think Marshal is not really a title that's used anymore, but when it was used, my thought was a Marshal was higher ranked than a Captain. Very odd. And it's more of a military title, not a policing title. Um, anyway, enough of that rambling. Uh, I'd be honoured by the request, Captain, and the chance to serve Neverwinter. Very well. I think the Watch will benefit from your experience and your social graces, it seems. Marshal Cormac has told me of your interest in Black Lake. You may wish to reconsider your intention to go there. Perhaps oh. you haven't heard of the murders there. Another nobleman has been killed. Gentry was but the first. I will permit only the most trusted of the Watch to enter Black Lake. Serve me well, and I shall grant you access, but not before. Okay, I accept. What must I do? We cannot attack Moya's gang directly. They have no base. So we must target their operations instead. Bleed them of gold and men until they have nothing left. The situation at the docks is in danger of becoming worse. What was at first opposition from Moya and her gang is threatening to become all-out war. I had thought they would not risk drawing blades against us in the streets. But through our informants, we've discovered that they are actually smuggling in a cache of weapons to do just that. They are planning for a fight. And if the reports on the number of weapons coming in are true, then the watch will quickly be outmatched. What do you want me to do about it? Stop the shipment and put an end to the smuggling for good. You are the only one we can trust for the job. Many of the watch in the docks district tend to turn a blind eye when coin is involved. And they should be rounded up as well. One problem at a time, Cormac. By the time we've dealt with the smuggling, perhaps then the costs of the Neverwinter reconstruction will be reduced, which should allow us to pay watchmen their rightful salary. Oh, indeed. Because it is the lack of coin, not loyalty. That is the problem. Is that it? Maybe your eyes are blinded by coin too, Captain? You are the short-sighted one, and your blindness is that of a stubborn mule. This is not a black and white matter, Cormac. The docks are the only revenue source from trade we have. We cannot even patrol the roads for merchants to feel safe. So we need every watchman, even if only as a presence there. We do not need those scarecrows. Those turncloaks are boils on Neverwinter's name, and they'll give every thief in the city an open door to our throat. If we allow them to become any more blind for every gold coin, we might as well throw down weapons now. And what do you propose, Cormac? With the funds being diverted to reconstruction, the pittance a watchman makes is temptation for anyone to look for gold elsewhere. We must make do until reconstruction is finished, no matter what it takes. Well, I'm playing lawful good, Paladin, so if there are traitors in the watch, we should arrest them at, at once. Least someone is speaking sense. Silence, Cormac. Enough of this. I think we can at least agree on who should tackle this matter. Lieutenant, you have proven yourself to us, and you have done so at great personal risk, as you are no doubt marked for death by Moya and her gang. I don't want this assignment. Uh, you don't have much choice. You've got to take it. Um, how reassuring. Lieutenant, if you do not help us take steps to stop these thieves now, before they can gather their network, they will not let you go in peace. With Rose's death, I am certain they have us all targeted for the same fate. But stopping this operation may come with benefits. Whatever you confiscate from the smuggled goods can be used to build up the presence of the Watch in the Docks District. And any Watchman found aiding these thugs should be dealt with. We need no division in our ranks. The smuggling operation is your assignment, Lieutenant. I want that dealt with. Once the smugglers at the docks have been brought to justice, I think we will need to fear little in the way of future bribery attempts. Although there are times when bribery can work to our advantage as well. Our informant left word that the shipment will be smuggled through the back alley in the docks. We need you to go in and stop the weapons from reaching their destination. Be careful once you're in. The back alley is infested with petty criminals and alley bashers. Now hurry. That shipment must be stopped. Very well.
My Lord Nasher, I came as soon as I received your summons. Ah, Sir Naval, we were just speaking of you. These men are from the Trade Guild, and I was telling them of the Watch's successes at the docks. And they were about to tell me of their renewed efforts to ensure new ships in the harbor this season, to compensate for the loss of overland travel. The season has been a lean one for Neverwinter, my lord. The citizens will be pleased to see more ships in the harbor and the cargo they bring. Quite right. Thank you for your efforts, Sir Naval. Congratulations are in order for you and the Nine. My Lord Nasher, I shall pass along your praise to the Watch. I believe much of their recent success is the result of our new recruits. So be it, Naval. After the war with Luskin and the Plague, it is good we can finally turn our attention to where it belongs. And the certain matter of back taxes owed at the harbor. Of course, my Lord Nasher. With your leave, I will return to my duties. Hmm. You may go, Naval. After all, the Guild and I have much to discuss. All right. Um, there is another merchant around this way. He's actually more of a crafting merchant, if I remember rightly. Uh... Where is he? He's not here. He is... This is the Moonstone Mask, a very famous... This is this is the guy over here. We're also going to start coming across the little street urchins. Um, Cape of Winter. That's right, that was an interesting thing. Forge Fire is a really nice um, light hammer, so it doesn't do much damage, but it's got some good fire damage on it. I don't feel it's worth the price, though. You can find weapons better than that. Uh, the Commander's Ring is quite good. AC bonus plus two, saving throw bonus plus two, light, and it has knock that you can use uh, once a day. So that can unlock anything. Um, but again, it's very expensive. You will have the money for it before too long. Um, and then, yeah, he's got a lot of crafting supplies here if you are going down that route of wanting to make things. Uh... And that's why. Excuse me. As I was... Stop right there, kid. We've got ourselves a thief! I was just running. I run fast. What's this about a thief? Check your coin purse. And don't even think of moving, child. Please, sir. I'm just running. Can I just leave? What? Why, you're right. My coin purse is missing. You're going straight to the watch after you hand over that pouch. Um. Uh... What this seems to be the problem? This thief is the problem. It's not safe to walk around anymore. Just last ten day, I lost ten gold to one of these scamps. And I'm not about to let this one off, even if she looks so innocent. Turn out your pockets, now! Now, that's interesting. I don't know that any of those options are really sufficient for a lawful good character. I suppose that saying that you don't know she has done anything um, is probably the closest solution. But she's got to have taken it. If she's not hiding something, she has nothing to fear. Do you have any proof at all? If you have none, what you're doing is wrong. I blasted if you aren't right. 
But if I ever catch you, girl, you'll waste away in the stocks once the Watchmen get you. I told you it wasn't her. Well, you're still out one coin purse. I don't see what you're so smug about. Thank you. I owe you one. Because she did not actually get very close to him, so I suppose that is a good option. Right. Uh, let's get out of here. This episode may run a little long, depending on how long it takes to get through the um, the next bit. Because there is going to be another one of those street urchins that we are going to find when we get to the docks district. Oh, I forgot about this we one. We came at once when we received your summons, Lord Garius. At such distances, I did not realize your aspect could... Shadows grant many gifts, Torio. But time is short, and the longer we speak, the greater the chance of detection. Torio, inform me of your troubles in infiltrating Black Lake Lawn. So I am sending assistance. Has she? The Sea Ghost sails from Luscan to the docks of Neverwinter, carrying allies of our cause. Allies, my lord? Yes. I have dispatched agents to assist your infiltration of Black Lake, Dorio. Unless you disagree. Not at all. But I had hoped for the chance to see to the matter personally, without... I only need more time, my lord. I will find a way past Black Lake's walls. No, Lorn. You will be needed elsewhere to deliver a message for me to our other allies to the east. I could spare one of the Circle of Blades, my lord. They are eager for work, both in infiltrating Black Lake or sending word to the orcs. No, it is not an assassination I need, Lorn. Only your presence. You will be escorting some of our priest allies, who, like the orcs, require a more... Personal touch. We are sending the Shadow Priests to Old Owlwell? As for you, Torio, watch for the Sea Ghost. I shall be in contact with you shortly before its arrival. Right. So, we are needed over here. Uh, this Don't interaction think you're first. Gonna talk your way out of this one, Wolf. This is our territory, and your little army of beggar children has to pay its due. Us kids are just sticking together, trying to make a living. But we don't bow to no one. You're going to work for us now, boy. Please, Da, don't beat me. I promise I won't drop the basket again. What? I try my best, honest I do. Just don't beat me like Emma. She can barely walk on that leg now. Look at the poor boy. Someone ought to. It's not like that at all. This boy is a, well, he's a thief. Let the boy go. Don't tell me you believe him. Dropping a basket is wrong, he tells me. You can get a good thrashing for that, like most everything. What are you planning to do to this boy of yours? Yeah, this can't end well. Let him go now. You walk away this time, Wolf. This time. That's right. You run. Are you all right, lad? I'll be fine, thanks to you, kind strangers. Especially you. Rightio, we need to head through here. Wrong E combination. Okay, let's do a full save again. Back alley. Yep, 
You've been most helpful, Watchman. Consider this gold a gift from your friends. Just been doing our duty. Remember, let no one pass you. It's for their own protection. Don't worry, we'll keep our eyes open. Stop right there. The areas... Oh, sorry, didn't notice the uniform. It was the man you were talking to. Just a grateful citizen expressing their appreciation for the work the watch does. Looked to me like you were taking a bribe. Well, now it's dark out. Your eyes must be playing tricks on you. An honest member of the watch would never accept a bribe. Things are just fine, so we won't be needing an extra, any extra watchman tonight. Why don't you go find somewhere to relax for your shift? We won't say anything. That's kind of you, but I have things to take care of. Look, I'm trying to be nice here. We don't need you. I'm sure Cormac or Berlina can find other duties for you tonight. That's Marshal Cormac or Captain Berlina to you, watchman. We're on the same side, remember? Which is why I'm trying to keep you out of trouble. Now get out of here. Try and stop me and I'll have to arrest you. Gave you a chance, now I'll have to deal with you. I'll just report you were working from Lear and I had to stop you. You are... You have to live first. That lightning sure helps. All right. The search around here. Actually, we're not searching stuff, are we? We're just. Oh. Hello there, thug. Got to be careful with these thugs because they got sneak attack. What you said near death. Oh, she's going to cast heal on. Come back here. There we go. When he runs away like that, he, there's a chance he's going to run into the next group and I'm going to get ambushed. He dropped anything? He hasn't. Okay, we're going to come back here and loot these remains and we might also see if we can rest because I know the ladies have used a lot of spells up in these last two encounters. So getting some of those good spells back because they don't have infinite. Right. Um, yeah, this way. There's no one waiting down there for us. It's been a while since I played this, so I don't remember where everybody is. Okay, this is definitely a large group here. Some of these are guardsmen. Oh, got thugs here first, and we've got a mage. It's important that we take out that thug mage as quickly as possible. Uh, I might even use a smite evil on him i think oh he's already almost dead so the smite evil is probably not as useful as it could have been
on the rest here. That big group coming up. Okay. Great. It looks like the watch is already here. And the ones that aren't on our side. Those watch. Moya must have gotten her hooks into them. Look, those turncoats are even keeping company with dog rats. Traitors. They're lower than the foulest of demons. At least Nishka doesn't pretend to be anything else. Those smug faces need some fists smashed into them, ready to crack their skulls. I'm going to... Like, there's a way around it, right? Um, but I'm going to say it's our duty to stop those thugs well, and arrest those traitors. there's a lot of them all in one place. If the two groups were separated, we might be able to handle them one at a time. I could just set fire to something a few blocks over. Let the watch run off and deal with it. They don't look too bright. Then, we can take care of the thugs without the watch to back them up. Yeah, normally there is an option for Eleni to do it. If if um, Wara isn't in your party, Eleni will basically offer to do the same thing. I'm going to let Quara do it. All right. Keep your heads down and wait for the smoke. Fire! Fire! Everyone, run for your lives! By the gods, not tonight. All right, men, move to it! Before the whole district goes up in flames. Where do you think you're going? Moya's paying you to stay with us. Let the rest of the watch handle it. You paid us to look the other way, not let the docks burn down. Just stay here. We'll be back soon enough. That should do it. Not as fun as torching the Academy stables, but... They'll likely have that fire under control pretty soon. They're split up for now, but we'll need to act fast. Uh, I'm glad you didn't let it get too out of control. You sound like one of my instructors. You're just lucky I helped you this time. Done preaching. Hmm. Lost some interview influence with Quara there. These guys are just going to attack. Was that a mage that just? Oh no, he's cast Summon Animal. Oh no, that was us that cast Summon Animal. That's it there. The Dire Badger. Oh, guy must have got the archer that ran off. Uh, we want to go this way right now because we want to make sure we can take out these guys before we go and take on the next group down that way. I mean, look at this. I'm be I, I don't think I've taken any actual hits from these city watchmen. Whereas the thugs... I did take damage from the thugs at some point. Okay, I got knocked down there. That wasn't great, but still. I don't know, don't know why that Watchman is unarmed. Doesn't make a huge amount of sense. Not going to question it. Let's 
Just make sure there were no more hiding around here. No, we're all good. Uh, can we rest here? We can. Wonderful. Next group of baddies. Oh, you're with the watch. We're not looking for any trouble with you. What's going on here? We're just uh, waiting for someone. Waiting behind a barricade armed to the teeth. How don't you go find someone else to check out? We're a little busy here. Tell me what I want to know. Maybe we can help each other. Fine. If it'll get you off our backs. We hear Moira's gang is trying to smuggle in some weapons tonight. Word is she's planning a street war against you watch hounds. We can't let that happen. She drowned the docks in blood, so we're going to make sure the shipment never gets here. Leave this to the watch. Don't want you getting hurt. Right. You watch hounds can't even keep your own building from fired, from burning down. We're not going anywhere. Uh, fine. Just make sure the shipment doesn't get past you. I can take care of them. Right. I didn't want to fight these guys. Oh, but they are considered thugs. I do want to fight them. Little late to be casting Mage Armor now, Clara. Short sword plus one. Scroll. Uh, what have we got here? Unidentified amulet. He's selling that, and that's a flame arrow scroll. You can definitely have that. Yes. You haven't been able to identify the amulet. What about you, Quora? Can you identify What's that? Going on? Amulet of the Lesser Master. Uh, that's a thief amulet. You might keep that for Nishka. Yeah, I don't think we need to rest. We've got another group of thugs here we want to take out, and I want to take out that mage as quickly as possible, so target him first. smite evil there and it wasn't actually queuing up properly alright how are we doing 
should consider resting, but I want to just... No, we will rest because that is the last group. That's the, the wagon that we have to stop. Uh, you're actually helping Moyer to smuggle weapons in. Uh, these weapons will be used against the watch. Then I have no reason but to stop you. These weapons will not reach Moyer's hands. Looks like we'll be earning our pay tonight, boys. I'm ready to go yet. I want to search the... I'm not going to search the wagon, but I am going to just quickly grab these. Probably not worth it, is it? No, not really. Um, I thought there were more... Let's go. Lieutenant, what have you to report? Uh, I've ended the smuggling operation at the docks. The goods were intended for the Thieves Guild within the docks, operating at a warehouse near the Merchant Quarter. It is Corps. as we suspected. Our informant was correct. I will need you to report to the meeting point at once and deal with those who were intended to receive the shipment. I suspect it will be much easier to handle without the weapons they were meant to pick up. But be cautious. I also want you to keep an eye out for anything there that might shed more light on their smuggling operations. We've shut down one smuggling route, but they must have others. Fortune to you, Lieutenant. And see to it these men are dealt with. There, well, okay, we are going to leave that here for this episode. We do have levels, but we're going to do that at the start of the next episode, and then we're going to go and deal with the warehouse, which is actually quite tricky. Uh, I might want to bring Nishka back into the party, because there are a few traps in the warehouse. I've got to think about this a little bit. But that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you for the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye now.